It's time for add-ons with the Unkink. All right, today this is going to be about image occlusion, one of the most powerful add-ons that Anki has available. The image occlusion add-on is one of the most powerful. I'm going to show you how to add a card with it. We're going to click Add. Now you don't actually have to change the card type, but this button over here is the image occlusion, and it will automatically do the card type for you. Now we're going to go to the internet. I just found a random anatomy card here. Image occlusion is especially good for making anatomy cards because you can make about 20 cards out of one card. So I just screenshotted it to the clipboard. It's easiest if you just copy it to the clipboard as opposed to your desktop because then you can click this button and it will automatically pull the picture up. Now I have the box tool selected automatically and every box you draw is going to be a flashcard. So there's two cards, three cards, four cards, five cards. You can also make custom shapes if you want, if you wanted to draw around here. Uh, I use that every now and then, not extremely often. You can also edit the boxes. If you wanted to put a box here, and say you drew it like this, if you click the arrow thing so that you edit, you can click on the box and rotate it and move it over. Another nice tool is to be able to link boxes. So say two of these were pointing to the same thing, it was just a different view. We can click here, and then you're going to shift click the other box. Now see how they're linked like that? Okay, if we click off, another way to do that is if you just drag your cursor, but the problem is sometimes you'll get things you don't like. So I typically click and shift click, and we're gonna click this box up here. This is going to group the elements so that this is now effectively one flashcard. So we should get one, two, three, four, five, six flashcards out of this. So if we click hide all, reveal one, that's typically the button I would recommend because that's gonna hide every box, but it's only gonna reveal the one that it's asking you about. You can use these and there are situations where they may be helpful. I typically stick with this box here. So I'm going to click hide all, reveal one. See, it added six cards, just like we pred predicted. I'm going to get out of this. I'm going to go into the browser to show you what happens if you need to edit a card. I'm going to go to my deck here. Here's the card. I'm going to look at a preview of it. See, it's asking you, what is this? And if we go to the answer, it's going to pop that up. Now, if we want to edit this card, we just click on it in the browser and same button click on it and now we can edit this. Say we actually meant to put this over here on the 12th rib. We'll make it a little smaller, hide it, and we're gonna click edit cards. And it just edited six old cards. So all of these now you can see down here have moved that box. Now another nice thing you can do is add a header or a footer or extras. If we add a header, hello, and then we preview the card, you can see the header shows up. Same thing with the footer, but it would be below. Now if we add an extra and preview the card, the extra is not there until we turn the card over and then it shows there. Now another nice feature to learn about the image occlusion is this toggle masks button. If you're learning, so this card, we're learning the 12th rib here. Mess that up. There we go. So we're trying to learn this card right here. We have our extra. But with toggle masks, say you're doing this card, but you're like, hey, wait a second. I forgot what this one is and I want to look. If you toggle the masks, you'll toggle all of them on and off. That can be really useful. I'm going to screenshot this again just to show you one last thing. If we go to add another card, just add it here. Now I just showed you how to add the header, the footer, the extras. If you go up here to the fields button, you can add that in while you are making the card as well as any tags that you would like to add to that card. So that's image occlusion, extremely useful. Hope you like it. Okay, this is kind of a bonus skill for those of you that really want to go above and beyond, but I have found it useful. 
I've already drawn a box here. Now if you click on this layers box right there, you'll see there's masks and labels. The masks are the boxes that you're drawing, but if we draw on the labels level, turn the masks on, then it will create something that does not create a card. So if we go up here, minor, because that wasn't included on our original doc, we can draw a line. Now if we go back to the masks level, I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to create a mask over so as minor because I want to learn that one. Now I'm going to hide all reveal one. And it created two cards. One, two. But the line that I drew and the so as minor did not become a card. So I'll show you what that looks like in the browser if we go look at it. So there's my thing, and it pulls it up. So that's an extra bonus skill. Thanks for learning with The On King. If you enjoyed this, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please leave any and all questions and comments. Here's our email. We will try to make as many of these videos as we possibly can to help you as you study.